Hi there. I'm Christoph and this is the reading crisis. I'm not having a new reading crisis. I'm actually reviewing a half a year of all of my books that I've read so far in 2023, but I'm doing it with a twist, so. Today, uh, as you can see, I got my hair cut. I got my first perm. So it's the first time I have done my hair like this and I don't know what to think about it yet. Uh, so be sure to leave your comments which hairstyle do you prefer? After I came back from my appointment with my hairstylist, I was actually in a goofy mood, so I decided to create a tier list with all the books that I've read in this year so far, uh, but it's not a normal one. Um, without further ado, let me show you the tier list I've created for you guys. It's time to introduce the tiers, because tier list doesn't exist with a, without a tier. It's actually made up of Lady Gaia quotes. Starting with the bottom tier, we have... That's probably <laughs> I'm just so fed up with all of it. Once? Hey, how about this one? Uh, what, what did you... Oh, no, no, no. Then we have... There, there will be a, a new president, and it could be Donald Trump. I have nothing to say of him. Then, as kind of in the middle, so like mediocre meat books, we have... There was really a, a void of vanity. And so, and as the blood rushed out of my body, um, how do I explain it? Then as one of the higher tiers, we have Lady Gaga saying... I'm not a french fry. I'm foie gras, and some people don't like it, but that's just who I am. And obviously, I needed to put that like as my S tier, like my favorite of the year, is the one, the only Lady Gaga saying her most iconic line. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put it in a blender, shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to so it. So a few disclaimers before I start. So I won't be giving any in-depth reviews or synopses of the books. Some of the books here are actually Polish editions, so you might not recognize them at first, but I'll explain which ones are Polish once I get to them. And also, when it comes to manga and graphic novels, I'll only put like one installment per whole series, so I'm going to be counting them as a series, even though in some manga I like some I like some volumes more than the others, but just for the sake of consistency and, and for the sake of my sanity, uh, I've just put them as whole series. Uh, all of the books here are randomized by the tier list. I will address the elephant in the room. Yes, my microphone is on a ruler right now. No, don't ask any more questions. So, let's get on with it. First one is Dom Casmureo by Machado Giasis. I hope I pronounced it right. Uh, it's a classic, actually. I didn't realize because you can see from the cover, probably. Uh, it's, it doesn't look like a classic. I grabbed it from a second-hand shop and I actually absolutely loved it. I devoured it, even though it was very weirdly written. Ah, the narrator is so good. Don Gasmura is definitely talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping and spectacular. Uh, the next we have Shadow and Bone. Uh, so the first installment in the series. Uh, I've actually talked about all of the Shadow and Bone books uh, before, so let me grab them so they are in one kind of group now. I would say that Shadow and Bone, the first book is And As the Blood Rushed Out of My Body, I don't know how to explain it. And then Ruin and Rising and Siege and Stone will not be French rice, they will be actually foie gras. Foie gras, foie gras, and the French. Uh, so yeah, I, f I think my favorite of the series would be Siege and Storm. Uh, I gave the whole series four stars, but that just it, Shadow and Bone. So the next one is Legend Bar by Tracy Dion and that one deserves only one spot and that spot is talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping and spectacular, one of the best young adult fantasy I've ever read. So that deserves that spot right there. Uh, the next is This is How You Lose the Time Warrior and it's not a french fry, 
so I'll put it in that category. It is definitely not a French fry. Then we have Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, and that one is going to. No, I'm just joking with you. It's a talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show stopping, and spectacular. Yes. The next one is Unlikely Animals by Annie Hartnett, and that is going in the I'm Not a French Fry category. Uh, very cozy book, even though it's pretty dark topics, but it was kind of cozy to me. Next one is Panenka, Renan Hesion. I hope so. So this one would be going to, and as the blood rushed out of my body, I don't know how to explain. Uh, it was a good book, I would say, but there were some problems with it, uh, particularly that I didn't care about it that much. Like, I was told a story about like ex-football star and how his kind of mistake of missing a penalty, would, how his mistake would actually impact his life, but it's more a book about small town stories and his family, so I, I was more into sports drama and all that, but it didn't happen that much. It was still a good book, but not, not what I expected. So the next one is The Charm Offensive by Alice Cochran. This one is... I'm actually on the fence between talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping and spectacular and I'm not a French fry, I'm full gras. Because on one hand I really liked the book and it was an amazing gay rom-com, but on the second, the ending was too sweet. I may change my mind, you know, I reserve my right to change my mind. Uh, I always change my mind a lot, but I think I think this is going to I'm not a French fry. They don't kill me. Uh, the next one we have the second book in the Legendborn cycle, which is Blood Marked by Tracy Dion. And this one actually is going to I'm not a French fry category. I didn't enjoy it as much as the first book, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I still gave it four and a half stars. I really enjoyed it, I'm still looking forward to the next installment but actually uh, it really was too long for me. Uh, I loved the ending, uh, the ending was incredible, but the whole book was kind of... The whole book when it comes to character development was alright, the plot was alright, but just... Uh, it, it wasn't up to par with the first book, but I'm still excited for the third in the series. With the next we have Yellow Face by Rebecca F. Quang. And I don't think I need to explain more than just that. And while I'm at it, where's Babel? Yeah, I'm, I don't have to explain much more. This is one of my favorite books uh, of all time. So obviously they're going here. And yes, the reading crisis is actually Earth Quang uh, stand account. So take it or leave. The next one is The Last Sun, KD Edwards. Uh, so I read it on audio. I still have to reread it physically and read the whole series. But from what I remember, from what I know, it is in the category of And as the blood rushed out of my body, I don't know how to explain. The next one we have The Crook Kingdom by Ali Barduga. So actually, let me just pull up Six of Crows here as well. Uh, so Six of Crows, I would give I'm not a French fry, I'm for Gra. Uh, and the Crook Kingdom, I'll get talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. Uh, if I were to rate a word, set a word of a book, uh, then Grisha Verse would be talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. But I'm rating the books, and actually, I really enjoy Six of Crows, but the characters there, I was like, they're not teenagers. They're not young adults. The experience they have, the skills they acquired, no, not believable. But the, the issue kind of didn't bother me that much in Crook Kingdom, so so that's why I'll enjoy actually Crook Kingdom more than of course. Uh, the next one is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Xlon. This is one that's going to I'm not a French fry, I'm full. Gra. 
Uh, I will have a lot of books here, I think. Uh, I'll have to probably change them around somewhere. But uh, yes, I really enjoyed that story. It was not perfect. It was kind of simplistic in its uh, in its um, things, but it did those simple things very well. So the next one we have Solitaire, and Solitaire is probably between I'm not a French fry and foie gras, and as the blood rushed out of my body, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but I think it's an, as the blood rushed out of my body simply because now that I think back on the book I don't remember half of the things that happened in this book and so I really enjoyed the kind of narrative of Victoria in the book especially knowing her from Heartstopper but you know Alice Osman knows how to write but the story was not that captivating to me uh, but I'm also I'm so excited to read her other books because I have all of them. I'm particularly interested in Radio Silence, but we shall see. The next one. Oh, this one. This one is going to hurt many people. I'm sorry. And this is Spy Family. And I've read up to volume 6 and or I think 5. And uh, I have nothing to say of him. I'm sorry, it, it's probably... I really enjoyed what I read. That's, that's the problem they have with that manga. That I really enjoyed what I've read of the book. But after like the third volume, I was like, okay, I got the vibes. I got the characters. I really enjoyed them, but what's more to it? And up to, I think, volume five or six, nothing else happened to change my mind about it. And so I have nothing to say of him like I understand the hype I really understand why this gets so much love but I just didn't captivate me at all the next one is I'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy I've read I've read this one on audio it was perfect I wouldn't change a thing about it it's talented brilliant incredible amazing show-stopping spectacular just as Jeanette McCurdy so the next one we have is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikatsu Kawaguchi. And this one is also on the fence between I'm not a French fry and foie gras. And as the blood rushed out of my body, I don't know how to explain it. Oh, no, here. Uh, but I think it's going to end the, as the blood rushed out of my body um, here. Simply because I don't remember a thing. Uh, I think I read it back in February. And I don't remember a single thing that happened there. Other than the, the creepy lady sitting on one's face at the cafe. So next one is Nick and Charlie by Alice Osman. And this one is going to I'm not a French fry, I'm foie gras. Because I think this is a great, a great novella. And I really enjoyed reading it. Especially after reading Hard Stopper. It's not standard, brilliant, incredible, all this stuff. Simply because it's short, it's a novella and it didn't give me that much drama and stuff I wanted. But I really enjoyed it. The next one is Medusa by Jesse Barton. I've talked about it in multiple videos of mine, I think. Uh, this is going to talent a brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. This mythological retelling is short, but it packs a punch. It's amazing. Uh, the next one we have Pyranesi by Susan Clark. Uh, fun fact, I actually DNF'd the book first time around. Like I DNF'd it after two or three pages because I couldn't get through it. I was so confused about what was happening. But after that, uh, we had friends come over and one of the guests said, oh, this is my favorite book. And I was like, okay, I DNF'd it. And they kind of um, persuaded me to read it again. And I absolutely loved it. Uh, it's not tons of brilliant, incredible, I mean, show-stopping, but it is not a French try. And it's a high foie gras. Uh, the next book is actually another non-fiction. Uh, we don't have that much non-fiction here. But it is Blood, Sweat and Pixels by Jason Schreier. Uh, this one is an amazing book. I really loved that. And actually one of my university lecturers recommended that. And at first I started it in an ebook uh, years ago. But then I bought a physical copy secondhand in English and I loved it again uh, so if you're ever interested in the creation of games what does it take to create games what are some problems with it 
this is an amazing book and also Jason Schreier has other essays or books about the topic so you should check out the author as well. The next one is Juniper and Thorn by Ava Reed and uh, this one is not a french fries but gra it's very graphic, it's very dark uh, and it would have been thunder brilliant and all that but I'm not a fan of gothic literature. <laughs> Uh, I said it, I said it first, uh, I didn't enjoy it during my studies, I didn't enjoy any gothic classics, uh, so that's probably what hindered my enjoyment of the book, but other than that, a great book. Next we have Chainsaw Man, and Chainsaw Man is a weird topic for me, because I really enjoyed the manga, there were some worse volumes and there were some questionable scenes. Um, especially with one character, but I really enjoyed that one. Uh, I really like the ending of the arc, but I don't think I will continue the series. But I liked the first arc from what I've seen. Uh, I didn't see the anime, but from the manga, I liked the first arc. So it's going to. I'm not a French fry and foie gras, but it's not more than that. Next, we have Given. And Given is actually on the fence of two of the worst categories. It's and as the blood rush out of my body, I know how to explain it, and I have nothing to say of him. So I've heard about it uh, pitched as a manga heartstopper, like a Japanese music heartstopper, but it is not it. Didn't give me the vibes. It didn't. The characters were not that interesting, and. Um, I don't want to continue the series anymore, I think I finished on the seventh volume as it was the last one published in Poland, the eighth one came out like a few months ago, but I don't think I want to continue and actually the second volume was five stars for me, but after that, what was happening, what was the point, I didn't get any of it, uh, but I think it's and that's the blood rush out of my body, I don't know how to explain it because it was still a cute story, it was still a nice story, it just didn't connect I just, I just didn't connect with it. What is given two doing here? Oh well, I'll just put it next to given one because that's <laughs> that's on me, I'm sorry. The next one is Richard Osman's the Thursday Murder Club. So I enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't know, I had something interesting to say but I was like I enjoyed it. Uh, it was, I'm not a friend, it's not, I'm not a French fry, I'm foie gras. The mystery was basic, but the characters were amazing and the writing was pretty nice, simple, and I read it pretty much in like three sittings, so it was nice. Um, the next one is, we have a Polish book, I don't think it has an English translation, I'm not sure. Uh, it is called Polecie wszystko będzie inaczej. And it is by Siri Kalu, I think it's a Finnish author, um, because there's like a Polish um, uh, publisher of books, like indie kind of publisher of books called like Weird Idea, and last year they came out with their Rainbow series, so these are like six stories uh, from Scandinavian authors and that they translate into Polish, and they're queer young adult stories. Uh, and this one we are following uh, perspective of a young trans boy and it is a very good book but unfortunately in, um, as the blood rush at but I know how to explain it because it was it essentially it's just 10 conversations between a father and his child so it's, it's very interpersonal it's very interesting but besides that and some airplane lingo it was not nothing great. Uh, the next one we have here is The Adventures of Amina al Rafi by Shannon Chakraborty and this one is talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, the reveal at the end, the ridiculousness of it, like uh, it took me a while to get it but the author knows what they're doing and the, the world is so interesting and the main character is amazing. I love me some old like friends uh, going on the last mission together and it, it, it had all the vibes, all the story and the drama and I really enjoyed it. The next we have, we had to remove this post by Hannah Berwitz and this one is not a french fried foie gras. 
uh, I know with my unpopular opinion, I think I really enjoyed that book. I understand because this book follows a, like social media content moderator and how the content they moderate kind of changes their life and shapes their their relationships with others. Um, but I really enjoyed it. The ending was weird. I will say that the ending is unconventional. The ending will throw you through a loop. But I really enjoyed it and the writing set was good, so uh, I actually liked it. The next one we have, a more recent read, is Page Boy by Elliot Page. And that one's going on, not, this one is going into I'm not a French fry, I'm foie gras. Simply because it was a great one. Uh, I've mentioned it in my July wrap up. But it's not my favorite I Jeanette McCurdy memoir, but it's still a good memoir. The next one we have is Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata. Uh, it's a quirky story and I really, I was weirded out a little bit by it. And it took me a while to get it, but I got it. But now after a while I'm like, do I remember anything? No. So it's going into an as the blood rush out of the body. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, sometimes this book just like that. It's an interesting book, but it just flew through my mind. The next one we have Heartstopper is going to talent and pretend incredible amazing show something spectacular and no questions asked, no needed no need for any answers. And my favorite volume is volume four. And now we have How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. I enjoyed that book. It was an interesting take and that we jumped through perspective through time. But at the same time I actually enjoyed Medial Midnight Library by him more, but it's on as the blood rush of the body. I don't know how to explain it. Now we have a Polish cover. It's called Kartna Stoł. It's an Agatha Christie like hardcover Polish edition of it. They're coming out with new ones right now. And it is all cards on the table, on table by Agatha Christie. And this one is I have nothing to say of him. Uh, I have nothing to say of him. Uh, this one has such an interesting premise for people who have murdered before and got away with it and also for kind of detective type characters and you have to um, figure out who killed and why and when and also discover the past murders and we're going through the perspective of different detectives it was a great setup but then i just got 100 pages of contract bridge explanations of the players and their behaviors and it was just no not interesting i got a crazy flop with this one sadly Next we have My Brother's Husband by Gengoro Tagame and this one is talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. It's just amazing. If you love, if you want to see some very wholesome fam found family aspects, also queer family aspects, also gay vibes, also a lot of talk about homophobia in Japan, it's a great manga. And there's only four volumes, just go grab it. It's beautiful, the artist beautiful, the characters are great and it's just amazing. The next one is also a recent one is Swimming in the Dark by Tomasz Jędrowski and this one is on the fence of being talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular and I'm not a french fry. I think it's going to the top of I'm not a french fry simply because the chapters were too long and I couldn't get into it but other than that it's pretty good. The next one we have Legend in Latte, as here Legende i Latte, uh, because that's Polish translation of it, but it's not a French fry. Cozy fantasy, I've been heard about it, I liked it, nothing spectacular, but it was fine and I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm looking forward to the prequel. And the next one is another novella by um, Alice Osman, is This Winter. This one was worse than the Nick and Charlie one, and this is an As the Blood Rush Out of My Body, I don't know how to explain it. Now, we have War Cross by Mary Lou, and uh, yeah, just that. It was horrible. At first I gave it like three stars, then it changed to two and a half stars, and then I was two stars, but more and more I think about it, it might be actually a one star. Uh, it just didn't, con the word was ridiculous, the romance was ridiculous, the main character was ridiculous, and it was fast paced, so that's one thing that is going for it, but the rest of it, bad. And actually at the end of the sequel, after like 300 pages, it was just too much for me. Uh, so the last one, we have Zwoji Pioruna, which is 
the Lightning Thief by Rick Rorian. And this is going into and as the blood rush out of my body, I don't know how to explain it. Now, hear me out. Uh, as a child, counter brilliant, incredible, amazing, show something spectacular. But as I've reread the book, the first one so far, it was like four stars, three and a half stars for me. It was a great story, great characters, but there were some questionable takes in there, questionable decisions. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not the demographic. I've also changed my views on many stuff, but yeah. But I will update you guys when I read more of the series. So that's it. That's the whole tier list so far. I'm really happy with this year's book so far. Uh, I also got into the habit of DNFing the book if I'm not interested in it enough for like 100 pages. So it really helped me out because this list does not include DNFs. But thank you so much guys for watching. If you also enjoyed these goofy videos like that, leave a comment down below. And also if you managed to say until the end of the video, leave your favorite Lady Gaga quote there and I will heart your comment for sure. Uh, and also remember that you are important, you matter, and there can be there can 100, 100 people, people in the, in the room. room. And 99 don't believe in you. But I had this one incredible talent. I really enjoyed doing this video. I love tier list and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.